Hello and welcome to the Ginkgo Petrified Forest State Park. My name is Kevin Liskey and today I want to talk to you about rocks. Anywhere you go on the planet, if you find a rock like this, it can be grouped into one of three categories. There are three main types of rock found throughout the planet. Today, I want to talk about each of those three groups and how each type of rock is formed. Okay, the first group that we're going to talk about is called igneous. So can all of you say that with me? ig ni us Okay, now igneous rock, such as this, is formed after lava has cooled off and solidified. So igneous rock, again, like this, forms after molten hot lava has cooled off and solidified. Now to help us remember how igneous rock forms, we're going to do a little dance. So we're going to use our arms and we're going to form a volcano. Then we will press our arms together to form our magma chamber. And then our hands will act as our lava coming down. All right, so it's going to go like this. And we're going to say the name of our group as we do this. So we'll say, Ig, Ni, Us, Lava. All right, one more time. Ig, Ni, us lava all right let's all try this at home are you ready here we go one two three ig ni us lava ig ni us lava all right very good so that's our first group igneous rock our second group is called sedimentary can you say that with me sedimentary now sedimentary rock forms after other rocks maybe igneous have eroded away into little bits and pieces and all those little bits and pieces and grains have accumulated one way or another and they get compacted into layers one layer on top of another a great example of sedimentary rock can be found in southern Utah. If you look at this picture here, you can actually see those defined layers in that sedimentary rock. Again, we're going to do a little song to help us remember how sedimentary rock is formed. All right, and for this one, we're going to use our hands to represent our layers. So our hands are gonna go like this and stack one on top of another. As we're doing that, we're gonna say the name of the group. So it's gonna look like this. We'll say sedimentary layers on layers. Sedimentary layers on layers. Okay, I want you to try this too. Here we go. One, two, three. Sedimentary layers on layers. Sedimentary layers on layers. Now the third type of rock is called metamorphic. Can you say that one with me? Metamorphic. And metamorphic rock forms after another rock, maybe igneous, maybe sedimentary, but another type of rock gets exposed to extreme and intense heat and pressure, and that heat and pressure actually bake that rock to change it or morph it into a completely different rock. A really great example of metamorphic rock can be found in Yosemite National Park. Half Dome is comprised of metamorphic rock. Now again, we're gonna do a little song and dance to help us remember how metamorphic rock is formed. And so to do that, we're gonna use our hands like this to represent heat, 
and then we'll do this to represent pressure. And as we're doing that, we're gonna be saying heat and pressure, heat and pressure, metamorphic, metamorphic. Okay, do you wanna try that with me? Here we go. Heat and pressure, heat and pressure, metamorphic, metamorphic, heat and pressure. Awesome, all right. Okay, so for a quick recap, let's go through our three types of rock. First type, igneous. Igneous, lava. Second type, sedimentary. Sedimentary, layers on layers. And our third type, metamorphic, heat and pressure, heat and pressure, metamorphic, metamorphic. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. You rock.